Hello fellow dividend investors, it's that dividend guy. Happy Monday, I'm coming at you with another dividend investing video. Hopefully everybody had a great green day, a GGD in the market today. <clears throat> today we're going to go over the portfolio performance and as you can see, it's a little bit more red than normal. I'm not worried about it though. Uh, so we're going to go through the portfolio performance, then we're going to go through the individual stocks, and then I'm going to tell you what I'm planning on doing with the dividends next month. So let's jump right into it. So today we are down about $490 today. For the week, we're down $334. For the month, we're down $237. The three-month mark, we're down $367. For the year, we're up $1,500. And all time, we're still up $1,600. So again, short term, doesn't matter to me. Even up to the year mark, doesn't really matter to me. I'm in this. <clears throat> Guys, this portfolio is going to be in my family for generations. So I'm 24 right now. Um, so this doesn't bother me. Even that doesn't bother me. Since I, Even if that was right, it wouldn't freak me out. So this is such a long-term portfolio that I'm going to be unshaken from this type of day in the market. It's, it's simply a day. It's really all it is. Um, we aren't that down. It's just dropping everything in the portfolio, which is fine. Let's take a look real quick and see which stock is really bumming us out today. Um, I know Altria and I believe SKT hit 52-week lows, so let's take a look uh, at Altria today. Down 209 a share. I have almost 100 shares, so that's going to hit the portfolio pretty hard. Um, like I said, with this and with AbbVie, I'm kind of overexposed, so I kind of left myself vulnerable here. Uh, but I have 98 shares, $4,300 of equity, 4530 is our average cost, so right now I could buy... Um, at a really good price. 26% uh, of the portfolio is an ultra. That's why when fluctuations with this stock happen, they really hit the portfolio hard. And that's something that I'm trying to lessen um, is my overall um, percentage in certain stocks or in individual stocks. I want to be more diversified. I just don't have the cash right now. Um, but today we're down 204 and total we're down 147. This is the lowest that this stock has been, I do believe. Uh, it says it hit its 52-week low, but that's $39. So again, that, that's not true. Uh, but it, it didn't hit its 52-week low, but uh, it is lower than when I bought it. So it's a little below my average cost, which is great. Next, we have Coca-Cola down two. Huh, this is one of those that doesn't really fall. Um, 17 shares, but $1,000 of equity. 51 tens are average cost. So even still, we're still up on the stock. 6% of the portfolio is in Coca-Cola stock. Today, we're down 25. Total, we're up 128. So that one doesn't bother me that much. AT&T, we're still up on. Down today, though, according to the market. Uh, 62 shares, $2,300 of equity. 31 tens are average cost. About 15% of the portfolio is in AT&T stock. Today, we're up, or today, we're down $31. Total, we're up $430. So I'm not worried about it. Avi, we're down on this one, too. Looks like it's been a pretty red day overall, even for our big uh, our big holdings or our, our big stocks, uh, 60 shares, $5,500 of equity, 7222 is our average cost. We'll take a lot to get down to there, just like AT&T. 34% of the portfolio is in AbbVie stock. Today, we're down 109. Total, we're still up over $1,200, so not really worried about AbbVie here. SKT's at 1271 Great buying price for me. 13 shares. I doubled my share count this month. I uh, wish I would have waited until now to do it, but that's okay. Uh, $165.23 is our equity. 1393 is our average cost. So we could still drop over a dollar if we had those dividends coming in right now, which is awesome. 1% uh, of the portfolio, a little more than a percent, is in SKT stock. Uh, today we're down $1.43 total. We're down about the cost of a share from where I bought it at. It's $15.85. Not really worried about it though. Um, this is one of those that I'm going to just keep pouring money into, even if it goes. like The, the cutoff for me is probably $10. I don't really want to invest in anything that's lower than that. That's why Ford's not in my portfolio. So $10 is probably my cutoff, but I don't think it's gotten that low. It's low as $12.40, and it's getting close to that. So we still have a decent amount for the stock to fall before I am before I get uncomfortable. It's a dividend aristocrat too, so that makes me feel a lot more confident about it. So I might even let it drop lower than that. It's got such great dividend growth history. So anyways, SKT is down today, but it'd be a great buy, but I don't have cash. Uh, Target is down $3 today. Yeah, everything's down. Um, getting a dividend this month from it. 10 shares, $1,100 of equity, 87.68 is our average cost. 7% of the portfolio is in target stock. Down $33 today, 2.8% up. 260 or almost 30% on this stock alone. Then we have ExxonMobil. This one's been the down darling, but everybody seems to be down today. Um, so I'm not surprised to see it lower than it has been. So 53 or 56.43 as our uh, closing cost today. 
Uh, but we're getting a dividend of 25 bucks, so it's not worried. Or I'm not worried about it. Sorry, buddy texted me. 29 shares, $1,600 of equity, uh, 73.50 is our average cost. 10% of the portfolio is an Exxon Mobil, down 78 uh, today, down 495, almost 500 bucks total. Then we have Walgreens, one share, not too worried about it. That's down too. Jeez, I think everything's down today. One share, $49 of equity, 54.60 is our average cost, so this would be a great buy as well. 0.3% of the portfolios in Walgreens stock. I'm going to boost that up. That's really pathetic. I wish I would have put more money into it, but today we're down 242 total. We're down $5. So overall, guys, I think everybody, yeah, let's, let's take a quick look. Everybody is down today in the market. Every single stock except, what, two? Everything but two. Dominion, which is utilities, and Clorox. That's it. Everything else is red. That's crazy. <clears throat> That's the first time I think ever, as long as in what, like almost 100 episodes of this of this series, that we've had an all red day, nearly. That's insane. That's like 98% of my stocks are red that I'm even looking at. That's crazy. Must have been a big correction today. Would be a great day to, to deploy some cash if you have it. Whew. That's a great day in the market. Um, funny because most people freak out, but keep in mind, guys, we're dividend investors. So the lower the price goes, the higher our yield. So we technically get paid more for the same stock. It's like going and buying an iPhone X for a thousand. Then you go in tomorrow, iPhone X is 980 or, you know, 600 bucks. Still the same iPhone, same company, just buy it. I haven't seen any news about Altria or Coca Cola. Like, as you saw, I didn't see any big news, uh, news headlines or anything for any of these stocks. So I think it's just a broad market correction. Nothing to really worry about but anyways guys uh with this next dividend i'm planning on holding it and i'm going to add it to my altria and coca-cola dividends that way i can buy a share of altria a share of coca-cola and then two shares of skt as well so that should um, boost up the portfolio uh should put me about getting close to a hundred dollars a month here with altria and coca-cola combined i'm up to like 87 so that's going to be awesome um but the next goal for new deployed cash is to boost that that uh, three six nine twelve the target the Exxon Mobil and the Walgreens, um, and that would be uh, I would be purchasing something like a Dominion or Johnson and Johnson or three M. So I want to buy good quality companies. Um, and the, the stock that I'm really fiending for is Disney. I really want some Disney and I really want some Berkshire Hathaway. So there's four stocks that I'm looking at right now, um, for the portfolio to add, but currently I don't have the cash to deploy, which bums me out, but that's okay. Sometimes it happens. But anyways, guys, if you do have cash, now would be the time to deploy it. Stocks are down when there's blood. Oh, sorry. When there's blood in the streets, you buy like a fiend. That's not the Warren Buffett quote. I just tweaked it a bit, but that's what you should do. Anyways, guys, and keep in mind, that's not investment advice. I'm just saying I would buy if I had the cash. So, you know, dividend investors should be super excited because we're finally getting a little bit of a correction or a broad market correction that could give you some really good prices on some quality stocks. Everything is down. Um, so that's phenomenal. But anyways, guys, um, I'll see you tomorrow in another dividend investing video. Remember to subscribe hit the like button and comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Are you excited about this correction? Like this is crazy. Like look at that. Everything except what Clorox and Dominion are down today. That's insane. Uh, so uh, comment below if you like red, <laughs> which you should if you're a dividend investor. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow with another dividend investing video. Like I said, hit the subscribe button on that dividend, dividend, dividend guy uh, YouTube channel. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss any YouTube content. I post Monday through Friday every single weekday on this channel, and it's crazy. I've been getting like three subscribers a day, like over 100 views, guys. It's crazy, so I'm so thankful uh, for the audience I've amassed here, and I'm grateful for all uh, the interaction I have. So it's just, it's just phenomenal. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. I'll see you tomorrow with another dividend investing video. If you have cash, I'd be buying like a fiend. <laughs> see you guys tomorrow. Take care. <laughs>